what's up my sweet friends welcome or welcome back to my channel thank you so much for stopping by today and spending some time with me i truly appreciate you in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you four rustic farmhouse diys that you can do just using dollar tree wood signs they have a ton out right now so i suggest you head over there and go check them out because they are throwing out a ton of wood signs and i am loving it because i love making stuff out of wood and wood signs stuff like that so keep watching because today's diys are very nice and i hope you like them okay my friends so we're gonna be starting off with this slab of wood this is really beautiful from dollar tree they have this one and also an oval one that i'm also gonna do a diy with and I absolutely love these. I'm going to take this ribbon also from Dollar Tree and I want to place it at the top here just to give it a little bit of some decoration. I'm just going to take my hot glue gun for that and place some on either side and then um, press it down in the back with some hot glue. And that is it um, right there at the top. Once I have that ribbon there, I'm going to go in with these little wood... Uh, almost lasered out uh, lettering I got those from Hobby Lobby and I really like them so I want to place them down I'm just arranging them um, making sure they're nice and even I did spell out the word family and I'm just going to use my hot glue for that as well to place that at the top the only thing is it is a bit tricky since they are a bit open around um, you just have to be really careful and place a little bit of that hot glue for these letters. Um, but once I get those down there, then I am going to go in with these. Uh, I'm going to pull out this pack of all of these different types of wood pieces that I have here. And I'm just going to take out four clothespins because I want to place them at the bottom of the sign. And this is going to be a nice little way to hang pictures. So I am using my ruler because I want to make sure that they are nice and even and that they are aligned the right way. So I do use my ruler and then I just take my hot glue to press them down. And that is just such a nice way to hang little pictures of your family and um, stuff like that. You guys, I am super glad to be feeling much better. Um, me and my family were sick over the past week, which is why my video is late this week. I really wasn't feeling up to it. Um, my original post days are Wednesday. If you didn't know, Wednesday at 6 usually. Um, but this week, it was a bit late because of that. So I apologize for that. You know, I had to let my body rest and, you know, all of that stuff. But we are all feeling much better. Thank God. Um... But yeah, you guys, so now I'm just going to take these uh, beautiful butterflies that I got from Dollar Tree. They come in a pack with a whole bunch. And I think these are really pretty. My original thought was to place one on each clothespin. Um, but then I decided to change it and just put one on either side um, where the family word is at. So I just did that instead. And I just placed them down with my hot glue. But you can use Mod Podge if you wanted. Um, I think hot glue works just fine. So I just place a little in the back and press them down. And um, I also take this little greenery piece of rub on transfer and I just place that on the center of the sign right below that word family just to give it a little extra pop of color. And then once I do that, that is the final step for this DIY. And I really love this one, you guys. I think it is super beautiful. And what great thing is that it's functional so you can hang your pictures or even really anything if you want to hang uh, whatever you really want to hang on here. But I like that it's fun functional and it's also very simple and rustic. Let me know what you think. Next up, you guys, I have the other 
oval wood slab piece that I told you about. This is from Dollar Tree as well. What I want to do is I want to take these sticker letters and I want to spell out the word hello. So I am gonna, just going to place them down, but I don't press them down all the way because I want to make sure that they are nice and even first. So once I get all of the letters on there, then I'll arrange them, make sure they're nice and even. And I do just eyeball it because... um. That's, that's what I do most of the time. I'm just an eyeballer and then once I get it to where I like, I will then press them down. And I even use my Cricut tool just to make sure that everything is nice and flat. Because what I'm going to do is I am going to paint over these letters. Um, the reason being is because I want to paint over it and then peel the letters up. So that way it can have the wording but in the wood. Um that fresh wood there so it's going to be white with the wood letter uh wording of hello if that makes sense <laughs> and then um so now you can see i'm just painting the entire thing and i am painting it nice and you know rustic and making it look weathered because after all this is farmhouse decor and it does not have to be perfect um so i am gonna do that and then I don't let it dry all the way because I want to peel up those stickers before it gets too hard to peel off. So once the paint is on there, I quickly start to peel them up and I do use my Cricut tool for that. But you can definitely use something else um, so you don't mess up, you know, your Cricut tools. Um, I just use them for whatever I can use them for. Um, if it works, it works, right? So I just peel them up. And uh, as you can see there, you can see the nice fresh lettering. And I love the look of it. It's just um, really nice and simple. So then I decided to go in with this paint marker in black. Just so I could go over the outline of each letter to make it look even more popped out since it is against that white so i am just gonna trace along the line of each letter i also took the marker and i went along the edges around the sign just to give it a nice popped out look as well and i did that really um not perfect i just went along the edges and you know just traced that um, you can make it thick as thick as you want. I just want it a little bit popped out. So now I'm just going to add some greenery here going off to the side. I'm going to place some hot glue right down onto the board and just press that greenery down. I added two pieces, one on each side next to each other. And then I also went in with these wheat looking pieces um, just to give it a nice rustic, even more rustic and, you know, uh, simple look to it so i added that here and there on the sign and then that was pretty much it when i um looked at it for the final look i thought that it needed a couple i don't know just a little bit of something on the side so i just took the same marker and i added simple little dots going um following along the side of the frame and that is it you guys that is it for this diy and i absolutely love it i think it is super cute and you can place this almost anywhere in your entryway in your office in your room really anywhere you want i think it turned out pretty let me know what you think all right friends moving along i have here this really pretty wooden house from dollar tree and also one of their wooden planks here I'm just giving it a rough coat of some white paint. Um, I am going to use this as a base for my house. So I'm just painting that here and I'll let it dry. <laughs> oh God. Okay, we should be good. <laughs> you guys, what was that? My paintbrush literally decided to jump away as I'm painting um that was funny anyway i i'm gonna take the house here and i want to add it to this wood plank that i just painted and i'm gonna use wood glue and hot glue so it can stay nice and strong for us and once that's on there i do want to take one of these window stickers these are really pretty i got these um last year at dollar tree i'm not sure if they have them out this year but I'm going to go in with this window one right here and place it in the center. 
but the house does have a little chalkboard sign so i do try to remove that again using my cricut tool um i do not recommend you to use this use maybe a knife a little knife or something um i just use you know whatever is closest to me obviously but uh i just try and get that up most of it came off but in the center where most of that glue is i couldn't get it up so what i ended up doing was taking this green paper i cut a little rectangle piece off so that way it can be sort of a backdrop for the window which is absolutely fine um because you can see through the window anyways so i just place that towards the back using some hot glue and then i just take my sticker and i place it right on top of that and i do place hot glue on top of the sticker as well because even though it is a sticker i do want to make sure that it stays nice and stuck onto this house and now we can go ahead and add the house to the wood plank again using wood glue and hot glue and this is just going to ensure that it's going to stay nice and long term i'm going to press that nice and firm there and then i'm going to take this juice string and i want to wrap it around the bottom of the house a few times not only is this going to make it look prettier but it's also going to cover up any glue that seeped out maybe so i'm going to just um start off on the back here wrap it about four times or as many times as you'd like and then just finish that off and i also take a bit of greenery just about four pieces and i add it to the center right in the bottom as well and this finished off this diy and you guys i think this turned out absolutely gorgeous i really love how this turned out um i think it's super pretty and very farmhouse let me know what you think of this one and if you and if you would give it a try hey girl quick interruption if you're enjoying this video so far please do give it a big thumbs up not only does it let me know that you are enjoying today's content but it allows youtube to show more viewers and give me a wider audience to share my crafts so do give it a big thumbs up it's highly appreciated now let's jump back in next up you guys i have here this wood slice from dollar tree along with a bag of their little wood pieces here um this one's gonna be very simple but i really love this one it's very rustic and if you know me you know i love rustic and simple so i'm gonna take these pieces and i'm just simply going to hot glue them all around this wood slice here um if you want to use wood glue you can i just used my hot glue gun um and it's very simple i just added it uh the first one i added some to the bottom of the stick pressed it down and then moving along to the second and all for the rest of them you want to add glue to the side of the stick along um as the bottom of the wood slice so that way it's sticking to not only the wood slice but the other um stick if that makes sense so that way you can stay nice and strong and you just want to repeat that all the way around i just sped it up here so you don't see me doing the entire thing so once you get that i am going to take some jute string and i'm just simply going to wrap it around the entire thing a few times just so it can look like a bunch of little logs together in a nice bunch so i just take some hot glue so to make sure that it stays nice and stuck and then i just wrap it i believe about four times and i just cut it off and add some more hot glue so it can stay stuck in the back and you guys that is it very nice and simple and this is a beautiful candle holder and I really, really love how it turned out. It's just really rustic and simple. Super easy to make, but it does really look nice along when you have the candle in there. You guys, let me know what you think of this one. And let me know which one was your favorite from today. I love to hear your thoughts. And you guys, 
if you like today's content do give it a big thumbs up and consider hitting that subscribe button so you can be a part of my youtube family and along as sharing this video and helping your girl reaching new viewers and getting a wider audience you can help your girl out by just sharing the video to your family and friends i always appreciate all of your lovely comments and likes and everything like that just so you know you are appreciated i will see you all on the next one you guys take care god bless bye